Hey guys, this is Alan and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to propagate your own ice cream bean tree. If you, never, if you haven't heard of this tree before, don't be surprised, alright? Um, this is not a tree that most people know. Um, I'll have a picture on the screen right now. It looks like a, like a bean pot and then when you open it, the seeds are surrounded by this fuzzy white um, fluff, I guess. And you eat that and it's very sweet most people don't know about this plant because well it's a tropical plant but surprisingly it grows very easy in our area and that is the desert um, to give you a little more uh, background about this plant it's in the lagoon family uh, it's a nitrogen fixer so when you put it in the ground the root system like it usually does it will actually output nitrogen into the soil and that will help your plants around it Obviously, if your soil is deficient in nutrients, you're going to see massive uh, uh, improvement. But if your soil is rich in organic material, you're probably not going to notice any difference. Uh, to be honest, I have two trees in the ground here. And then I'll, sh I'll show you the trees. And um, I haven't really noticed much about the nitrogen fixing capability of this plant. Uh, but then again, I have a lot of uh, organic material in the ground. so. Uh, obviously, if my, if my plants are not efficient, I'm not going to see any improvements. Now, let's talk about propagation, guys. Now, this plant can be propagated from seeds. It can also be propagated from cuttings. Today, I'm going to show you how to actually propagate them from seeds. Now, the main thing with propagating any plant, guys, is you need to ask yourself two questions. And if you watch my other videos, you probably probably heard this one before. The first one is, when is the best time to propagate this plant? And the second one is, what is the best propagation method to use to propagate the plant? Now, ice cream bean trees are warm, loving plants. What that means is, the hotter the night temperatures, the faster they will grow. And that is when it's the best time to propagate them. Do not ever try to propagate them in the winter time. Don't try to propagate them early in the season when the night temperatures are cold. It's all about the night temperatures, guys. Forget about the day temperatures, they are completely irrelevant. Because here in Arizona, our day temperatures can be 100 degrees, but if the night temperatures at night are cold, nothing's going to grow. So usually ice cream bean trees here, we grow them every year, around this time of the year. Right now it's April 20th, and uh, the night temperatures are warming up. They are in the high 50s. So if you live anywhere else in the U.S. and you're trying to propagate ice cream bean tree uh, seeds, uh, my recommendation is wait until your night temperatures are about 50 to 60 degrees consistently every single night and expect it to go up in the next month or so. Those will be the ideal conditions to grow this plant. Now there are some ways you can bypass that and that is by using heat mats uh, or artificially um, uh, controlling the ambient temperature by using heaters or a greenhouse but you have to make sure they are consistent because if your temperatures are not consistent it's just not gonna work out guys your uh, seeds are either gonna rot they're gonna take too long to sprout and then in that time since potting mix is moist and you add coldness to that they're going to rot now this guys root very easily and they grow very fast so normally when I start seeds, I use liners like this and then uh, it makes it a lot easier to propagate a lot of plants. But these seeds right here are huge. I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, those are massive seeds, guys. And on top of that, they grow very quickly. So I'm not going to use liners today. What I like to use for ice cream bean seeds are 4-inch pots. You can buy these containers anywhere, online just make sure they're four inch pots. You can go three inches, you can probably go two inches, maybe five inches, it doesn't really matter. You just gotta make sure that your container will be able to support your plant for a little while because these seeds are going to sprout and they will grow very quickly. So you don't wanna mess with uh, the liners and then your seeds growing too quickly and you forget about them, they dry out on you and guess what just happened? You just kill your, your plant. Now, um, What's the best propagation method? I almost forgot. And that is, guys, for us, we start them from seed. Now, the only disadvantage of uh, growing them from seed is you are going to wait a little while for your plants to flower. Usually, in my experience, 
I have seen them take between five to, to eight years to, for, for you to start seeing flowers and then for the plant to actually hold the fruit um, fully it can take all the way up to 10 years. Usually when your plants start flowering they're not going to be strong to actually hold the fruit so for the first few seasons you may see flowers but the flowers may wilt, they may drop and all that good stuff. Now this plant here in Arizona takes full sun all day, 120 Fahrenheit all day non-stop. The more sun you give it, the faster it grows. So do not try to keep it in the shade. And the good thing about ice cream bean trees in our area here in Arizona, they are mainly frost sensitive. My ice cream bean tree has taken ambient temperature down to 19 degrees. Like for 12 hours straight for a whole week, ambient temperature. As long as you give it frost protection and uh, wind protection, you're good to go. But the problem that I have in my area, guys, is these plants grow very quickly. It can get easily six to 10 feet tall in one single year if you have your plant in the ground early in the season in full sun. But the problem is, how are you going to protect a plant that big from frost? So you either have to create a microclimate or you may have to, you know, use like a propane heater nearby to keep the frost from forming around the plant. You can watch my uh, how to protect your frost sensitive plants video to give you ideas how to frost protect them. Um, and another thing with I've seen in my area of ice, ice cream bean trees is um, even if they flower, which can take a long time, uh, we get extremely hot here in the summer very quickly. So it doesn't give plants time to acclimate. And uh, that's, that is when the actual fruit's ripening. And what I've seen personally is all the fruits drops every single year. I have never seen a single tree here actually hold fruit to full ripeness in the summer here in Arizona. But if you live anywhere else, guys, then you may get lucky. But the good thing about the plant, like I said, it takes a full sun, it takes a full winter. But let's go back to best method to prop propagate them. You can do seeds, it takes longer for you to get flowers, or you can do cuttings. If you do cuttings, they will flower sooner, and then they root very easily from cuttings. Um, if you watch my other uh, how to propagate plants from cuttings, the uh, propagation method is going to be the same, but usually you're going to have to do it during the um, growing season. I'll make another video later on uh, about cuttings. Anyways guys, let's, go, let's get to work. All right guys, so like I said, uh, we're not using liners today. I'm using uh, four inch containers. So the first thing you're gonna need is a container. Uh, if you don't have these containers right here, you can use, uh, I guess, plastic cups you can buy from the store, uh, especially if you're only doing a few of them. Remember, I propagate a lot of plants just because I can. So if you see my setup, you don't have to have the same thing. You will be successful whatever way you want to do. Uh, but for me, I do a lot of seeds, so that's why my setup looks like this. If you're only growing a few plants just for yourself, you know, you can go buy some seeds and then uh, you can have a few cups and you're good to go. Um, but if you're gonna do in quantities, then obviously you wanna find a little more efficient way to do this. Anyway, so I have my tray right there. Now the next thing that I like to do, I get my container right here, my potting mix. Now, this is the same potting mix that we use on all our, pl or all our plants. This is just uh, pine bark, uh, peat moss, and perlite. Nothing special. We use, we use this on all our plants, especially if you're gonna keep them outside. And then since I, I'm doing a lot of plants, I just dump the uh, potting mix in there just like this. makes it a lot easier than having to do each plant individually. Now let's talk about where to get seeds guys. Um, getting seeds is a little complicated especially because a lot of people um, are not trustworthy anymore. So and the thing about seeds uh, with the ice cream bean trees is the seeds need to be fresh, guys. So it's not like somebody can harvest the seeds, store them for a little while, and then, uh, you know, uh, I guess sell them to you later on. They have to be fresh. 
Now, usually, if you want to buy seeds, guys, I recommend to only buy them during the growing season. When is the growing season, guys? Well, when the night temperatures start getting about 50, 60 degrees, you know in tropical areas, the trees are already fruiting. So that will be the best time to buy your seeds. My seeds came from uh, Puerto Rico, and I know right now it's season for ice cream bean trees. So for somebody to sell me seeds, all they gotta do is outside, go outside their house, probably everybody has an, a tree like this in their yard, and then just pick the fruit and then sell me the seeds. Where can you buy the seeds from, guys? Well, most of my stuff comes from eBay. Um, so just go on eBay and then uh, uh, my recommendation, like I said, make sure you buy your seeds during season. And also, if possible, make sure the seller is located in an area where this plant grows very easily. So that would be South Florida and Puerto Rico uh, or any other tropical area. So yes, so those are the two things you want. You wanna buy your seeds during season and buy them from a seller that lives in an area where this plant grows very easily because you know your chances of getting good seeds are gonna be way higher than buying them from like a seller that lives in New York where the temperatures right now are like 20, 30 degrees and this plant, there is no possible way to grow outside naturally without a greenhouse. And even with a greenhouse, it will be very hard for this plant to fruit anywhere else where the temperatures are not tropical throughout the year. Now you see what I mean? All right guys, so we got our pots right here. I have my potty mix in there and you see I have one seed uh, per container. Uh, now what I like to do is I put my seeds in there and then which way uh, you want the seed facing it doesn't really matter. If you have the seed upside down the plant is going to come up anyway. If you have it facing up the plant will come up straight up. It doesn't really matter so don't worry about it. Just stick it in there and you're good to go. Now. I put the seeds in there and then I don't like making the little holes with my finger it's just too complicated so I don't fill the containers all the way to the top and then uh, once I put the seeds in there I put about I would say half an inch of uh, potting mix on top and then cover the seeds uh, you want to cover the seeds because you want to prevent the sunlight from actually getting to the seed because that may prevent germination Seeds know when they need to germinate and they require moisture and darkness because that tells them they are underground and the temperature tells them that it's time to wake up and grow. So I have one tray right there. So let me go ahead and finish up. I have a bunch of seeds right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another tray. All right, guys, so this is the last bed of the seeds right here. Um, just a quick uh, recap. Fill up your uh, containers with your potting mix. Uh, what potting mix to use, it doesn't really matter. Any potting mix will work as long as it drains the water well. It doesn't have to be what I use. Uh, ice cream bean trees are not really picky about the soil. They will grow in any potting mix. Um, but if you really worry about it, just get a seed starting potting mix and then go ahead and use that. If you don't have, uh, you know, anything, use whatever you have, you know, 
and it will work so don't don't worry too much about it um, but yeah a few potty mixes that I personally uh, recommend um, you know Fox Farm potty mix pro mix uh, happy frog even cactus mix any potty mix that actually uh, drains the water quickly will work uh, straight up peat moss will work too coco core will work uh, so don't get fixated on the potty mix just whatever you can get go ahead and use it these seeds are very easy to sprout germinate um, so they uh, they grow very quickly as well so that is it this is the last bit of it guys so I got a bunch of seeds in here um, and they are ready to go so let me go ahead and then I'm gonna take them inside my greenhouse because birds uh, as soon as they see the sprouts come up they are going to eat them so I don't want the birds to eat the stuff so what I like to do I like to take the uh, the seeds in the greenhouse out of sight out of vine so that way the birds don't eat them Alright guys, we are inside the greenhouse right now. Uh, I got a few things growing in here. Uh, we got some uh, white fusion calatheas over there. Uh, I got some pimp stripe um, calatheas over here. Uh, These guys are bay laurels. We got some bongavillas right there, some succulents. I got some allspice over here, it's been growing for a while now. I just uh, finished my uh, mister system so that way I can water them. Because uh, as you can see, my hand watering is not that efficient. But anyways guys, so what I'm going to do right now is I need to make some room in here. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to place it in here. I move this straight out of the way. So let me move this all the way back here. There is another one. And uh, let's see. Yeah, that will work right there. And then this one right here. And uh, let's see, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna move this guy out of here. Oh, it's all squishy in there. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna leave that in there and then take this one back here. There we go. Now, one thing to keep in mind, guys, is you have to label them. Especially when you make a lot of plants, you have to label them. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna label the trays so I know exactly what the trays are holding. This trays right here are loquat. Um, I started these seedlings uh, probably about a week ago. Uh, so all these guys right here, they're gonna, they have loquats. But once this get wet over here, they will look just like this ones right here and I won't know what's, you know what's growing. So I'm gonna label them just to be safe. And uh, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the water on. Um, let me turn it on so you guys can see it because now that you have them uh, ready to go you need to water when you water you got to be gentle guys you don't want to completely hose all the dirt off so that's the reason why I have it in here because um, uh, you'll see once I turn the mister on all right guys you can see my mister it's a work in progress um, one of these days I will finish it but right now, I just want to water them gently. And you can see how fine the mist is. So um, it will just water everything evenly. And uh, yeah, but if you're doing this by hand, uh, don't worry about it. Just get your hose and, you know, get one of those uh, sprayers and just spray the top very gently. 
Now, how long is this gonna take to root? Uh, that depends on your night temperatures, guys. Since my night temperatures are warming up right now, I should be able to see some seedlings come up in the next two to four weeks. And then once um, fully rooted in that in those containers, it's gonna take about two, two to three months. Um, but for you to start seeing uh, seedlings come up, two to four weeks. But remember, it's all about your night temperatures. If your night temperatures are really uh, cold, uh, then what's gonna happen is uh, it's gonna take a lot longer and they will probably rot before they actually come up. Now, one thing you gotta keep in mind, guys, is you wanna keep this moist, not soaking wet. Because uh, the only way for that potting mix to dry is through the root system of the plant. There are no roots in there, so once that's actually moist, it will stay moist for a long time. And the only way for that to actually dry is going to be through evaporation. Um, and then once the plant grows roots, that will be the only other way for that plant to grow. Uh, I mean, to actually, uh, for the potting mix to dry out. So don't keep it wet because that may rot, rot your, uh, your seed in there. So keep it moist but not soaking wet. Uh, so I'm gonna let this run for probably about 10 minutes and then uh, this should be fine. And then once I start seeing seedlings come up, I will probably, you know, water, let it dry about an inch and then water again. And however long it takes to dry about an inch, that's exactly how often you're going to water. All right, guys, so we're done. Now, like I said, uh, remember, give your, seed, uh, your seeds about two to four weeks to actually sprout. And then after that, make sure you let them dry about an inch in between watering and you'll be good to go. As the seedlings get older, uh, I'll make probably a follow-up video if you want. Just comment below if you want, want me to make it or not. Um, but then you have to acclimate into the sun and um, that takes a few days. But you know, these uh, ice cream bean trees are very easy to grow. Um, they take full sun and then uh, you just have to acclimate them. I don't recommend growing this plant in a container indefinitely because it has a very vigorous root system. It needs to be in the ground for it to be able to fully develop its root system and grow to its full potential. In the container you're never gonna get that because the containers are just not deep enough to allow the root system of the plant to fully develop. Um, so let's do a quick uh, summary guys. Best uh, time to propagate your plant is going to be when your night temperatures are between 50 to 60 degrees or hotter and expect it to get, you know, go up in the next month or so. The best propagation method for this plant, for me, it's seeds, through seeds. They are easy to get and then uh, they sprout very easily. Germination rate is almost 100%. Uh, you can do cuttings as well. I make a cutting video later on, um, but that will be the best uh, propagation method to use. Where to get your seeds, guys? Just buy them online. Make sure you buy them from a, a reputable um, seller and buy them during season, so that way you know for sure you're getting fresh seeds. Uh, older seeds that are dried out, they're, they're not gonna germinate. Um, so that's the main reason why I recommend to buy them when people are actually getting fruit. And try to buy them from sellers that live in areas where these fruits grow very easy um, don't buy them from a seller that lives in Alaska trying to sell you ice cream bean seeds you know because they're they are probably not gonna be viable um, the only problem with the seeds guys they are expensive I have never been able to find cheap seeds even the fruits are very expensive to buy if you're able to buy them um, so you're just gonna have to you know suck it up and buy the seeds if you want to grow this plant uh, if you want to grow this plant in an area where it gets cold, uh, don't expect fruit because uh, these plants, um, they are frost sensitive and personally I have tested, it, uh, tested the plant down to 19 degrees but if you get colder than that, I'm sure the plant will die just from the ambient temperatures. Uh, getting fruit is not really easy guys. Any amount of wind, any amount of uh, temperature fluctuation, it will make your fruits drop. So here in Arizona, I have never seen fruit actually develop fully on the plant. I have seen fruits on the plant, but to actually fully develop 100% to full ripeness and then you eat the fruit, that has never, I have never seen that here in Arizona. Uh, if you live in a tropical environment, you probably all you have to do is eat the fruit, throw the seeds outside and then come back in a mountain and shoot the tree will be fully grown and already fruiting. I'm just I'm joking. 
Um, but no, in tropical areas, these plants are very easy to grow, so you don't really have to worry too much about it. Any other areas, just follow my recommendation and you will be successful. Um, and I think, oh, the potty mix. Remember, any potty mix will work as long as it drains the water. Uh, you don't have to, you know, propagate a lot like I did. You can only do one or two or three. So if you're only buying a few seeds, it may not be that expensive. Uh, but yeah, this plant is very easy to grow. Uh, I don't recommend long-term container growing because they have a very vigorous deep root system that goes straight down in the ground. So in the pots, it's just not going to happen regardless of the container size that you're putting in. Uh, they grow very fast in the ground. During growing season, they can easily get, you know, six plus feet in one single year if your day temperatures are warm enough, early enough. So if you're in the 60, 70 degrees by April and then your temperatures stay that way all the way through close to winter, then that plant will grow very quickly. If your temperatures are lower, uh, then obviously this plant's not gonna grow as, uh, as fast. Do not keep it in the shade. They do not grow in the shade, guys. Um, full sun anywhere in the US, I promise you. And uh, that's about it guys, so hopefully this helps you out. If you like my videos, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment below if you have any questions, and let me know if you want me to make a follow-up video. And uh, I'll see you next time.